By the end of this video, you're gonna know five home remedies for high blood pressure, and you probably already have them in your cupboard. Number five is kind of a cool one too. So let's get into it and let's start fixing the blood pressure. What is the effect of flax seeds on your blood pressure? Well, the answer is they're gonna lower your blood pressure, but why? What is it about flax seeds that lowers blood pressure? And also, how do you actually consume them? Well, here's what's interesting. Flax seeds actually have omega-3 fatty acids, and flax seeds are very useful for that particular reason, because if you don't like fish, you don't like sardines, you don't like salmon, you don't like any of the fatty types of fish, or you're a vegetarian, or you are a vegan, and you just don't want to consume those animals, then flax seeds are a fantastic way to get omega-3 fatty acids. So what omega-3s do is they dilate our blood vessels by playing a role in the calcium potassium channels within the smooth muscles of our cells on the inner lining of our arteries. So if you can relax that inner lining, those smooth muscles of the artery, then the artery becomes more pliable and will dilate. And that is how omega-3 fatty acids help with blood pressure. The other thing that flax seeds can do and omega-3s can do for you, which is fantastic, is the omega-3s play a role in reducing inflammation in our body. And if you can reduce inflammation, you are literally getting to the absolute core of why cardiovascular disease exists. You reduce your cardiovascular disease by reducing inflammation. And you know what happens to your blood pressure when the inflammation goes down and you're getting healthy? The blood pressure becomes more normal, thus the blood pressure goes down. Now the question is, how do you actually use flax seeds? Flax seeds are a very, very tough seed. And just eating them or putting them in yogurt or oatmeal or something like that, it doesn't really work because the seeds are so tough that you it basically goes right through you. So what you have to do is you have to grind the flax seeds. So the inside of the seed can be exposed and then you're benefiting from those omega-3 fatty acids. What is the effect of green tea on your blood pressure? Well, the answer is green tea can have a fantastic effect on your blood pressure by lowering your blood pressure, but how? What is it about green tea that lowers your blood pressure? The answer is that green tea has something called catechins in it. And what this does, is it helps relax the smooth muscle on the inner lining of our arteries. If you can relax the smooth muscle, artery dilates, blood pressure goes down. What is the effect of beans on our blood pressure. We all know that beans, beans, the magical fruit, the more you eat, the more you, you know what. But that song did not include blood pressure. So beans, beans, the magical fruit. Well, what, where does it go with the blood pressure? Most beans have fiber, magnesium, calcium, and potassium. Now it's the magnesium and the potassium that helps lower our blood pressure by relaxing the blood vessels. The more relaxed the blood vessels, the lower your blood pressure is simply gonna be. Now there are tons of recipes with beans. You could literally take beans out of the can and put them in a salad, which is what I will do usually. I'll put a link down below or in a box or something like that at the end of the video showing you some salads that I made where I just literally took garbanzo beans, red beans, put it in a salad, it's awesome. But you can also cook them, you can make soups out of them. There's a tremendous amount of things that you can do with beans, just be creative and they're really the easiest food to eat for your blood pressure. What is the effect of pumpkin on your blood pressure? The answer is that eating pumpkin and pumpkin seeds will actually lower your blood pressure. Now, I'm not sure where you're watching from. I'm in California in America and really, I only eat pumpkins once a year in October and my wife will take the pumpkin seeds and make a whole recipe with the pumpkin seeds and we eat them, we, we have them for about a month. It, they're fantastic. And my wife actually will also say that she uses pumpkin with a lot of recipes. 
she's almost like this creative scientist who can cook anything with any type of ingredient. And she told me that she uses pumpkin for different recipes. And I was going to tell you in this video uh, what those were, and I forgot, so I apologize. <laughs> I'm not a mad scientist. But I do know that pumpkin has an effect on your blood pressure, and how so is it's the potassium. The potassium is the thing that really is the reason why you want to eat more pumpkin. Potassium will help produce more nitric oxide. More nitric oxide, the lower your blood pressure. People just go absolutely crazy when they hear this one. This is the most fun. Dark chocolate has a positive effect on lowering your blood pressure. I mean, hallelujah, right? You just can't go crazy with eating that much of it. That's the challenge. But how and why? Why dark chocolate? Why not milk chocolate? Why not white chocolate? The reason why is because the dark chocolate has something in it called flavonoids. And these flavonoids assist our body in producing more nitric oxide. And the nitric oxide is a gas inside our blood vessels that will help dilate our blood vessels and allow the blood vessels to become more pliable. If you have dilated blood vessels that are also more pliable, then your blood pressure goes down. How fantastic is that? How much should you be eating? And also, how do you go about getting dark chocolate in your diet? Well, for most people, it's actually quite easy. You just eat it by the bucketful. Duh, no, don't do that. But about three ounces of chocolate, the amount that you can fit in the palm of your hand, just about a quarter inch up, about that much, just a palm full of dark chocolate is enough to lower your blood pressure. What I like to do is make my own trail mix. So you can use dark chocolate chips, you can use almonds, you can use pistachios, you can use macadamia nuts, you can use walnuts, and right there you've got, if you get that in the palm of your hand and just eat that for a snack, whoa, you've got a powerful, literally a meal of food that's gonna satisfy you and all those things I just mentioned in that trail mix will help lower your blood pressure. So this is the important part and I want you to listen carefully. Right over here in a box pretty soon, there's gonna be a link to a video that's titled The Greatest Drug That Helps High Blood Pressure and It's Totally Natural. You need to watch this because of all the things that you can do to lower your blood pressure, there's one that gives the most punch, that will give you the most benefit, and it's in that video. So make sure when you're done with this video to watch that video. Very, very important.